Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. Fire crews at Bonnie's Island making headway tonight against the once massive landfill fire. Thanks to a boost from this afternoon's rain, firefighters were able to reduce it. Many field crews are home tonight, awaiting daybreak tomorrow when they can once again resume the time-consuming effort of pulling the compost pile apart tomorrow morning. Coronavirus cases continue to rise across the state. The Mass Department of Public Health reporting more than 700 new cases of COVID-19. The total number of confirmed cases now rising past 139,000. And the state also seeing 30 new deaths from the virus. The statewide death toll stands at more than 9,400. Springfield police are asking for your help identifying the suspect they believe was involved in the October 5th vandalism of the Court Street Black Lives Matter mural. Take a look at your screen. Police telling us it occurred a little bit after midnight. The suspect arriving on a bike and leaving shortly after spray painting it. The mural has been defaced a number of times over just the past two months. Anyone with information should contact the Springfield Police Department. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. Rain continuing overnight and turning heavy again at times, possibly even a rumble or two of thunder as a coastal low passes off to our east. Temperatures getting chilly by sunrise dropping down to the low 40s, but in the Berkshires, some of the highest elevations might be cold enough to get a little bit of brief wet snow before everything tapers off. Now rain should come to an end somewhere between about 7 and 9 o'clock in the morning Saturday, clearing skies into the afternoon and blustery. Wind could occasionally gust up to about 25 miles an hour out of the northwest. Temperatures will be in the middle to upper 50s in most spots. Now, once we get behind this departing storm system, high pressure will build in for Saturday night, allowing for a potential frosty start Sunday morning and a beautiful afternoon. We'll be tracking a couple of cold fronts that look to just miss the area for early next week. So we're not expecting a whole lot of rainfall for next week, only a slight chance for a couple of showers. Other than that, just a lot of clouds and warmer temperatures as we return to the lower 70s. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.